what may appeal to the human eye about our skyline can prove deadly for millions of migratory birds that pass through Chicago. That's apparently what happened to nearly a thousand birds early Thursday morning. The birds are being preserved at the Field Museum. They were part of a massive migration south when it's believed bright lights and low clouds caused the birds to get confused and hit McCormick Place. It's heartbreaking. It's absolutely heartbreaking. John Bates is the director of birds at the Field Museum. He appeals to Chicagoans to draw shades and turn off lights, especially during peak migration seasons. These birds are actually going to places like South America and then coming back and breeding up in Canada. So they're really just passing through Chicago and we ought to be doing what we can to help them out. This one may make it. This kingfisher may have come from Canada bound for Central America and was rescued by Annette Prince. She is the director of Chicago Bird Collision Monitors. She says she's picked up 100 birds in the last 24 hours, mostly dead after flying into buildings. I necessarily can't go and save the rainforest and, and fix uh, some of the habitat loss and other critical reasons that birds are, are, are dying. Uh, but in, in our own backyard, we have this opportunity to make things safer and at the same time enjoy these birds that are coming through. For now, Prince hopes Chicagoans will do their part and migration survivors will be on their way soon after some rehab. In Chicago, Leah Hope, ABC7 Eyewitness News. And this afternoon, we do have a response from the owner of McCormick Place, the Metropolitan Pier and Exposition Authority, or MPEA. It reads in part, MPEA is committed to conservation efforts that reduce collisions on our campus. Campus interior lighting is turned off unless needed by McCormick Place staff, clients, or visitors. It is important to understand that there is an event going on at Lakeside Center this week, so therefore the lights have been on when occupied. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.